recording now. Three, two, one, go. Hey guys, Shadow Link here, and we're back with Maji Debo Toshi Negotiation Inside Part 15, other no, no, otherwise known as Maji Koi Part 15. If you didn't already know that by the last 15 parts, then well, I'll just keep I'll just I'll just call it Maji Koi to make it easier for you guys. Uh, but anyway, in the last episode of Maji Koi, we were discussing whether or not um, either we would accept Chris as part of the group and a bunch of other parts we decided you know what let's try it if she's if she if if chris works you know we it's cool if not you can just drop her but anyway we find her fencing here <laughs> yeah i mean haven't you ever done that with people before just be like yeah i mean you kind of gauge people when you like meet them or like see when you meet him for the first time, you're like, is this person cool enough to, like, stick around with, or should I drop him after a certain time? If they're, like, too much of a douchebag or a bitch or something. That's pretty much life. Yeah, that's pretty much life. Thus, Chris and I reconcile for about five seconds. Because that's, this has to happen. Ooh. And we're sharing the bat now, and we forgot that. Fuck. <laughs> oh no. Hey, we got to another fight right away. Aww. We. S Oh yeah, Mayumi's gonna do her plan now. Yay! What's her plan? To make friends. I thought we established this like 20 billion parts ago. But this plan... Uh, to see how much fucks I give. <laughs> We're fa all falling from the sky. <laughs> Just, okay, the floorboard broken. There's two holes now from the upper layer and the bottom layer. <laughs> So what's your opinion on our current economy right now? <laughs> well, I feel like our current economy doesn't... <laughs> you think Trump would be a good president? <laughs> I mean, like, look, look. If you want to play God, <laughs> go, go for <laughs> what about the other presidential candidates like Hillary Clinton? <laughs> you were the chosen one. <laughs> Fucking shit happened. Shit happens. <laughs> okay, by the way, anyone for who is thinking of seeing the new Ghostbusters movie, uh, please don't. <laughs> new Ghostbusters movie. Just, just don't. <laughs> it's like, it's real, it's not the most terrible thing I've seen, but, you know, no, just don't watch it. Shadow Link recommends you don't watch it, and if you don't, you don't believe me, uh, check out Shadow Link 793's review with Dragon Industries, which should be up soon. Wait, isn't that that video right there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure he'll, he'll put a, I'm pretty sure Dragon will put a link in the description box to uh, the channel and what, what whatever channel it is on, because we have we have multiple channels, so. Yeah, so don't see the new Ghostbusters. It's fucking. It's really fucking bad. Oh god. I feel like the internet is kind of. Some reviewers I've seen are kind of split between whether to call it a bad movie or just call it a eh movie. I don't know, when I saw the trailer for the first time, I thought it was gonna be like. Okay, this is kind of a sequel. Kind of a. But it doesn't really, re it doesn't really reference the original films at all. Except for the insulting cameos. That, that, of, of the original, some of the original actors. 
they're really, they're really, they're really, I don't even know what they were really doing in here. I think they were just in here because, you know, I would think it was, that was their attempt to somewhat pander to the fans. But it failed massively, so nothing really happened out of it. And, uh, I, I just, I just say, I, uh, if anyone needs to see this movie, I, I would say just don't, don't spend your money, just bootleg it or you know, pirate it when it comes out, when it comes on DVD or something. You know, like how most people watch movies these days. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention there is a big four in this universe. Just, just think of them as the elite four of this, um, this universe. Except, um, actually, I think these. The bit, uh, I think they're. I think it's exclusive. Actually, no. I think it is to the entire world. So the big four are like the four strongest people designated in the entire world. Uh, the, but I think it's limit. Uh, right now, I think it's mostly women. But um, yeah, I, I don't think there's ever been a case where the big four has been. Uh, uh, one of them has been a man. So I think. I really legitimately think it's like the four strongest people. But since the most of the strongest people in the in this universe are women. Um, yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> oh. Never mind. <laughs> I thought, I thought, like, someone caught a new on Pokemon Go. <laughs> and then I realized his special ability is Photoshop. What? Wait, what? Nothing! <laughs> what, what'd you say? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Okay then, um, but continue on my big four thing here. Um, apparently they're talking about the big four here in this in this um, conversation because one of the big four has been, apparently been defeated. <gasps> and of course, when you beat someone from the big, when you beat someone like that, then you, uh, automatically that makes you the, ne the next member of the big four. Now they explain in later in later games that the big four is selected by a certain group of of people. I think one of them is being uh, Momoyo's grandfather, and the other being um, his pupil in the later in the next game. Also, the one of the assistant masters of the Kawakawi Temple, and um, um, we won't meet him till next game. But the butler for um, uh, for the cookies, or one of the butlers for the cookies. But again, this is all stuff and that's tying into the next game. But they do reference it here, so I do have to bring mention to it. As you know, it is plot relevant, and I have to mention everything plot relevant. And by the way, we're going to our room to play PS3. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> I want a divorce. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> Aww. Whoa. I'm a Marvel. Whoa. Oh yeah, I totally went up on DC Rebirth. <laughs> well, and uh, man, I think it's funny. DC Rebirth is hilarious. Oh, do you know about it? No. Oh, okay, so the, apparently, uh, they're bringing back old characters, right? Yes. And then apparently the story is like, Someone has taken ten years of our history, and that's why no one knows each other and why everything is different. Who could have caused all this? Oh, it's Dr. Manhattan. Dr. Manhattan. That's Dr. Not, Manhattan. But that's not possible. From the Watchmen series. <laughs> no one's ever been able to stop it him. Okay, then. Well, well, go fuck it. Go for it. <laughs> Dr. Manhattan, though. Yeah, Dr. Manhattan. I thought Watchmen was completely separate from the DC universe. Hey, they got the property, they're gonna use it! <laughs> Dr. Manhattan's gonna blow shit up. What's next? We're gonna see Rorschach and uh, Night Owl. <laughs> oh, wait, Rorschach's dead. Oh, they could bring it back. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, God. I don't, I don't know. See, look, on one hand, cool, DC's trying to get back their old people while having the new readers, even though it's not a reboot. But at the same time, you're doing stuff like this. Don't know how I feel. Ah. Uh. Fuck it. Go for it. Fuck. Well, on the subject of other things, um, have you seen any good anime lately? Nope. Nope. 
Well, I spent the last couple of days watching like random like 12 episode animes. I don't know why. why? Um, there was this one called Sky Wizards, which but was like 12 episodes, so I just decided to give it a watch. It was really fucking short, so I feel like this this was a series that it wasn't anything really that special, but I, I, the concept was kind of. I like the concept of it because basically in that in that anime they were living in a post-apocalyptic world where humanity on the ground has been overrun by like giant mechanical devil beetles. What? Yeah. Giant mechanical devil beetles. Well, they call them devil beetles, but they're like yeah, they're like giant mechanical devil beetles. And basically, they're, the giant mechanical devil beetles have taken over the the, the, the ground. So it, the, the, these guys, the basically the guys called Sky Wizards, or everyone and everyone else lives on in like the sky and shit. And then they have this academy where they train um, Sky Wizards to, to to protect their 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 cities from um, these devil beetles. And they have some level of magic and shit. And then most of them use swords and shit. Then. It was I like I like the concept, but the, um, I, it was it was based on a light novel, which I haven't really read, but which is basically true for any anime with light novels that I have watched. But but I feel like um, it should have been this is something that should have been longer than like twelve episodes because there was like some stuff that wasn't really explained, it kind of glossed over. And I kind of felt like I had to read the I had to read the light novels to um, understand it. But anyway, there, there's that. Um, it's only like 12 episodes. If you want to go check it out and see what I mean, then go That's right Sky here. Sky Wizards Academy? Uh, Sky Wizards Academy. Oh, come on. What? Hold on. This looks too familiar. Let me guess. One guy? Yes. One main girl? No. Well, Multiple? there's, yes. One, like, as fuck? Yes, how did you know? <laughs> okay, I'm done, fuck this. <laughs> <sighs> this sounds like a couple of other light novel animes that I heard about. Exactly. So, I'm not interested in that shit. Okay, um, well, what else did I see? Um, I watched this one called uh, There's Actually a Girl Online or something. Oh, I know that one. You know that one? Yeah, that's funny. I thought it was entertaining. I, I do find it. I do find it sad that the main girl is like a, a really big online gamer, and like really cannot distinguish between reality and the gaming world. Just like a few other people I know. Yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> John. Uh, John. <laughs> John from accounting. <laughs> Oh, my, 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 my bad. What does John do? John works at church. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, what else did I see? Oh, and I watched this an the anime adaptation of Suki Hime. <sighs> Not as good as the visual novel, of course, but it has to follow one path, and it kind of... it has to, it, Despite it following the path of the true ending of one of the main heroines, um... I thought it was okay. It just like they, they, it kind of glosses it. because it's based on something that pe people already know. Uh, Sukihime, um, people would probably just not understand. It's kind of like how I felt when they made a Blaze Blue at Alter Memory. They kind of had to gloss over a few things and kind of kind of didn't have to explain. And just trust that people who are watching this are just fans of the series, which I don't, which I don't entirely agree with because that's how you got to get a new audience or people who don't know what Blaze Blue is or Tsukihime is to watch this. That's their fault. Yeah. They have a, they legitly have an anime property in their hands. They just don't want to make it an anime. Yeah. Well, to be fair to the Tsukihime anime, it was only 12 episodes and it was made like in 2000, the really early 2000s. So, oh, it was like 2003, yeah. So I, I won't harp too much on it. And besides, I could just go play the game. Well, at least the anime was based on a favorite waifu path, so 
I'm good. What? Favorite waifu. Yeah, hey, your waifu, the favorite waifu is a vampire. Isn't that every guy's dream to get a vampire chick as your waifu? Or am I alone? Uh. <laughs> well, actually, I'm also reading the manga, which is actually a lot better than the anime so far. <laughs> Because the manga actually actually has more scenes and actually explains shit more than the anime. I didn't. Well, that's the case of most mangas and animes, actually. Oh, but anyway, we'll probably do Tsukihime sometime in the far, far future. Another light couple game! <laughs> in the future! <laughs> Have you reached Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan? <laughs> Don't worry, compared to this one, it's short. <laughs> Relatively. <laughs> and no worry, if we do Tsukihime, I can totally do Melty Blood. There's more? Well, Melty Blood is a fighting game. <laughs> With a story. Not like that other, it's not like that other fighting game series that makes story a DLC. What was it called again? Ah, uh, uh, <laughs> oh, man, nasty cough there. Oh, oh man, speaking of Street Fighter, so they just finished doing, releasing their story mode. Whoa! -hoo. That's so dumb. It's so great. I get a you get a game and like the campaign is getting add on later. Yes, but now people can play the story mode if they pay money for it. I wouldn't be surprised if they're only if you get a game and there's only one game mode. <laughs> there's only one game mode. Mini games. Look, now you can play as Ryu in the car. <laughs> yeah, mini that's game. basically what. That's it. <laughs> Street Fighter 6 is just, oh, you can beat up the car, you can beat up a truck, you can beat up a tank, you can beat up, you can beat up a plane, you can hit barrels, but you can't actually play the actual fucking game! <laughs> you can't! It's getting added on later, guys! DLC! So dumb. I mean, like, look, like, there were jokes about DLC, but that's supposed to be a joke. Not an actual, you know, idea right there. We always make jokes about DLC, especially when it comes to Capcom. Remember when remember when Ashura's Wrath had to had to have download for its true ending? So yeah, if you're playing the game up to that point and you thought what you got was the true ending of the game, you're wrong! Capcom says, hey, here's the true ending to this game you thought was the ending to the game you you beat and got the ending. Here you go, here's the real ending for the DLC. The fuck? <laughs> yeah, speaking of that, in the limited amount of time we have right now, uh, so, with the advent of DLC, you think it's weird now that people can actually, like, fix things specifically in their story if they don't do well with the audience? Case in point, you know that whole debacle of Mass Effect 3? Oh, uh, yeah, the whole Shepard dying at the end or something whatever yeah and how people were really mad and then what they did was they released the DLC to fix to quote unquote fix the ending oh yeah so like to me that means like super like I don't know in the long run it's just like if you don't like something you can ask the publishers to change it and they will, but that wasn't the original idea. But it wasn't the original idea. Why? I don't know. That's just like if if like a Batman movie didn't do well, they'll just have an extended cut to try to fix it. Oh wait! Ah, <laughs> uh, I see what we did there. I don't know, man. Dude, basically, Ultimate Edition is just DLC for movies, man. So if I'm watching this. Newcomer, I should be like, just watch the extended cut. Well, uh, are you talking about people who haven't For seen the, the movie? true movie? Yeah. For, uh, I would say, just, 
yeah, just watch the extended cut, even though I haven't seen it yet. But if they're going to cut 30 minutes of footage, yeah, 